Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll check out all the event activities lined up for the month of August. We'll discuss how to get all the bountiful rewards from the event adventure log and the brand new items that can be obtained from BCC events. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. First up, we have the bridal adventure log from August 1 to 28. You'll need to log in every day, complete the various monthly event activities, and clear the weekly challenge in order to level up the adventure log and collect the rewards. The rewards from the basic version are as follows. At level 1, you can obtain the Love Memoir Headwear, which boosts Demi-Human Damage Reduct by 5% and Healing Received by 5%. You'll also get 30 Feast Gacha Vouchers at level 10, 30 Headwear Gacha Vouchers at level 20, and 30 Time Invitation at level 30. At level 40, you can obtain the Heart Word Mouth Item, which grants plus 3% max HP and plus 5% damage to Demi-Human Race. And upon reaching level 50, you'll receive a Refine Plus 8 Garment Voucher which you can use to refine any garment you are equipped with. You'll also get a total of 60 Hearts of True Love which is this month's event currency. You can exchange it for the following rewards. Notably, you can get a True Love Costume Self-Choice Voucher which can be used to redeem one of the following costumes or one Frey Coin. However, these costumes do not have Unlock and Deposit rewards. You will also redeem a previous headwear gift box August, which lets you choose among the following past August event headwear or white snow marshmallow. Additionally, there's an option to spend 68 BCC to unlock the advanced version and get more event rewards. Aside from receiving more Heart of True Love, you'll also obtain the following rare rewards. At level 1, you can obtain the SR Headwear Self-Choice Gift Box August, which lets you choose among the following blue quality gacha headwear or 30 time invitation. You can also get a Grade S rune of your class at level 10, a Frey Coin at level 20, a Star Rune of your class at level 30, an Ancient Magic Card Album at level 40, and another Refined Plus 8 Garment Voucher at level 50. Up next, we have the Sweet Postcard One Time Reward Event that you can claim starting August 1. Just collect this month's theme postcard from the Event Ambassador Sakura Witch at Pantera Square to get the following rewards. Take note that you can claim this reward only once per account up until August 28th. Up next, we have a series of 4 weekly quests which you can accept starting August 1. Just find the Event Ambassador Sakura Witch at Pantera Square to accept the Wedding Promise series of quests. New quests will appear every Monday at 5 a.m. Completing each of the first 3 quests will grant 150,000 zeni, 1 Heart of True Love, and 5 Feast Gacha Vouchers while completing the fourth and final quest will grant 300,000 zeni, 3 hearts of true love, and 10 feast gacha vouchers. Take note that if you haven't completed the quest within the week of release, you can still complete the quest in chronological order at any time until August 28. Up next, the Naughty Mouse Limited gift box will be available for purchase in the recharge shop from August 3 to 10. Each box is priced at 20 BCC and there is no purchase limit. Opening it grants one of the following rewards. Notably, you can get rare rewards such as the Ice Fire Dragon Mount Self-Choice Voucher which lets you choose between either the Sub-Zero Chaos or Sephiroth's Lag Mount, the Naughty Mouse Tail Item which boosts max SP by 150 and reduces SP cost of skills by 5%, the Resentful Sohi Card which is a footgear card that grants up to 20% max SP and 80% SP region depending on your footgear refinement level and a Dark Assassin Cross Aramis card, which is a garment card that grants plus 20 flea and up to plus 15% elemental damage reduction depending on your garment refinement level. You can merge 3 of these at King Pori to get a Dark Assassin Cross Aramis Avatar MVP card. This grants a 10% chance to restore both HP and SP equivalent to 50% and 0.5% of the actual damage taken respectively. Up next, we have a daily BCC research event from August 3 to 10, where you can collect bonus rewards after topping up a certain amount of Big Cat coins every day. The daily rewards for topping up are as follows. Take note that the reward progress will reset daily at 5 a.m. server time. F2P players may open the interface every day to collect a praying card pack for free. If you're looking for a reliable and efficient online game top-up center, I highly encourage you guys to check out Smile One. With years of experience in the industry and partnerships with various game developers, they offer top-ups for a wide range of games at competitive prices, including Premium and BCC for Ragnarok Mobile. Smile One Top-Up is available in many countries across all servers, 
and you may pay via their trusted payment platform. In the Philippines, I can pay securely using my GCash via Alipay and receive the BCC instantly. Please do check out SmileOne's pricing and payment methods using my exclusive link in the description box below. Up next, we have a Monster Hunt event every Saturday and Sunday for the whole month of August, starting from 4 p.m. until 12 midnight server time. During the event period, a large number of monsters will invade the whole town of Amatsu. Defeating these monsters and completing related quests will drop lots of Firefly packs nearby and each player can get a maximum of 1,000 per day. You can exchange 1,000 Firefly packs for one Shushan's gift, which you can open to get one of the following rewards at random. Notably, there's a 1% chance to get the hand costume voucher when opening the gift box, which has 1% attack and magic attack unlock reward. You may also exchange 200 Firefly packs for one heart of true love. Up next, we have a series of 5 consecutive daily quests which you can accept starting August 8. Just find Kululu at the Matsu to accept the Sweet Promise series of quests where you need to follow hints and go to specified locations to kill specified monsters. Completing each quest will grant 150,000 zeni and one heart of true love. Completing the fifth and final quest will grant 300,000 zeni, three hearts of true love, and the wedding amulet event exclusive tail item. This grants plus 3% movement speed and plus 8% damage to plant race monsters. Take note that if you haven't completed the quest within the day, you can still complete the quest in chronological order at any time until August 28. Up next, we'll get double rewards upon clearing Ponopin Museum Island for two weeks, starting from August 7 to 21. Take note that only the character who cleared this instance for the first time under the account will receive double rewards. Up next, the selected enchantment gift box will be available for purchase in the recharge shop from August 3 to 10. It is priced at 25 BCC with a max purchase limit of 500 times. Opening it grants the following enchanting materials. Up next, we have another series of 5 consecutive daily quests which you can accept starting August 14. Just find Lil Pink at Amatsu to accept the wedding tour series of quests where you need to go to a popular dating site every day to take photos. Completing each quest will grant 150,000 zeni and one heart of true love. Completing the fifth and final quest will grant 300,000 zeni and three hearts of true love. Take note that if you haven't completed the quest within the day of release, you can still complete the quest in chronological order at any time until August 28. Up next, we'll get double rewards upon clearing exploring the Lost Isle for two weeks, starting from August 14 to 28. Take note that only the character who cleared this instance for the first time under the account will receive double rewards. Up next, we'll have a meteor shower every night in Amatsu, starting from 6 p.m. until 5 a.m. the next day. Just accept the quest from the Meteor Ambassador in Amatsu and perform the two-person action with another player to get one true love gift box every day. Opening it grants 5 gacha vouchers at random. In addition, a large number of Meteor Shards will appear in Amatsu which you can pick up once per day. Once you have 5 Meteor Shards, you can fuse them together to craft the Shining Stars event exclusive headwear. This headwear grants plus 1 to all attributes and plus 6% damage to MVP and mini monsters. Up next, we have the Sweet Wish Tree, one-time reward event that you can claim starting August 21. Just make a wish under the Wish Tree in Amatsu to get 300,000 zeni and 3 hearts of true love. Take note that you can only make a wish once per account up until August 28. You can also view and like other players' wishes. Up next, there will be a 50% discount on wedding ceremonies from August 21 to 28, so it will be the best time to marry your in-game partner. The Holy Series, Sakura Series, and Perfect Love Series wedding costumes will also have a 50% discount. Do take note that you are unable to fight while wearing any wedding costume. And lastly, the Super Value Rune Gift Box will be available for purchase in the Retread Shop from August 24 to 31. Each box costs 30 BCC with a max purchase limit of 200 times. Opening it will grant one of each type of rune stone. You need to open the gift box using a tier 2 class or above since there's also a 25% chance of getting a bonus S rune or star rune of your class. So that's it for the event activities happening this month of August. All in all, you can get up to 91 hearts of true love from completing all event activities. But if you're going to buy the advanced version of the adventure log, you'll get additional 290 hearts of true love which I think is a pretty good deal for 68 BCC. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I'd love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back.
Thank you for watching and see you in your next episode.